Hey again, it's Stephanie Arneal here with Keller Williams Legacy in San Antonio, your favorite realtor. Here again, taking tours of homes that are on the market just to see what's out there uh, so I can show you, educate you on what we look for and be knowledgeable for my clients about what's going on in the neighborhood. I'm here in the northern part of, of San Antonio today um, in a resort community near um, the JW Marriott, excuse me, um, where TPC San Antonio takes place at. This home is one that's been on the market for a while, so, and I haven't gotten a chance to go in it yet, so I just thought we'd pop in, see what's going on. Full disclosure, there is a smoke detector beeping that needs a low battery changed, so we might go a little quicker through this one so it doesn't drive us all batty. Um, but this one is a four bed, three and a half bath, 3,600 square foot home. Let's take a look and see what we can find. First, let's give a minute to this awesome entryway. It's beautiful. Love it. Grand entryway. As you go in the home, it's pretty open floor plan. You've got your formal dining right here off the, off the uh, front door, of, off the entryway. Let's see. With the hardwood floors, stairs up. See, there's that beep. And then here's kind of a formal living area. Sounds like there's two or three of them beeping. This is a huge living area. It's got the double story ceilings, tall ceilings with even openings up. So I wouldn't want to make it like an office, but definitely a cool living sitting area. We'll go upstairs in just a minute. Let's go through to the living room and see what we can find. Let's see, in the living room, we've got fireplace. Looks like they had a TV mounted up in that stone. So if you don't wanna hang it there, you'd need some good art or to do something with that fireplace. Good windows, good lighting here in this house. Very open to the upstairs too. Let's see. Here we are in the kitchen now. It's pretty, look, they use dark, dark counter, solid surface with the cream, kind of antiqued cabinets. Double oven action. Let's see. Gas stove, which I am a sucker for a good gas stove. Not a huge pantry for the size of the home, but not terrible. I've definitely seen worse, y'all, and I'm sure together we'll find some worse. Um, in the island is the, where you find the sink with gold, which is kind of unique, so that's fun. Um, that's where your refrigerator would go. And then you've got a desk space and your eat-in kitchen area. Let's see if this is the light switch for it. Yep, pretty. They like the gold tones and accents here. Let's go out on the back deck and see what kind of view we have in the backyard and what's going on. And get away from that beeping for a minute, huh? Okay. So we've got a deck. It's kind of raised. Backyard, you can tell this one's been empty for a minute. The backyard needs some maintenance done. There's stairs down. A good tree. And what I am going to assume is our primary bedroom over there, but we'll go find out. Let's go keep exploring. Looks like the blinds need some help around this house. Things you look for that maybe for me, as my buyers are looking around there, seeing things like the pretty chandelier, I'm gonna notice things like the blinds and the chipped paint and kind of the beat up baseboards that give me hints about number one, why it's been on the market for a while, and number two, things in my head for negotiations later. No offense to the homeowners or the list agent ever, of course. We just take it all in stride and keep going. All right, let's go down this hallway and see what we find. Oh, that's a cute white, I like that one. Let's see, first thing we get to is the powder bath. Single vanity, basic, 
nothing too special. And then we've got our laundry room, which I can only assume cuts through to the garage. Yep. Let's see. There's a tankless water heater, a water softener already installed, which is awesome. Double garage openers, not a bad setup, and then some built-in shelves. All in all, not bad. Basic, exactly what you'd expect. All right, let's see, let's keep trucking here. Cute little nook. And then I'm gonna assume a hall closet of some sort. Yep, just a coat closet. And let's head into our primary suite. Look at this, this is so pretty. Oh my goodness, they've got another one of these little nooks here. There does seem to be an intercom system in this house, which you don't see too often anymore. They had their TV mounted there, it would seem. That door to the back patio like we saw. And then a good bay window. Let's look at that bay window, that's pretty. The ceilings are tall in here. Good size, you can fit all your furniture beautifully. And then into your primary bathroom. We've got his and hers vanities with the individual mirrors. Ooh, that's gonna make me go crazy. Let's turn that light off. With the individual mirrors, there's on this side, a little linen closet. A nice size jetted tub. And again, this house has been empty for a couple months. It's been on the market for like 90 days, which is why it's looking a little gross, gross. It just needs someone to come give it some love. Shower, little potty closet. And let me find the lightning here. Oh, it's on motion to Victor. Cause here's your primary closet. And it's got good space, good storage. Some shelving, not bad, honestly. I like it. I like this one. I like this bedroom in here. This is a good room. All right, let's journey upstairs and see what we find. It is kind of nice. This is a very grand room, y'all. It's pretty to walk into. All right, let's go up the stairs here. All right, as we come up the stairs, you can see that front living area, front door. It's kind of like a walkway. You can see right down into the living room. Let's go left first. <laughs> All right, here's what I'm gonna guess was a boy's bedroom or at least a uh, superhero lovers based on, oh, based on Spider-Man here. Got an accent wall. Seems pretty well maintained. The carpet's in pretty good shape. Oh, and it's got a Jack and Jill bathroom happening. So it looks like each side has its own vanity, which is huge if your kids don't like to share and whose kids share. And then a deep, good size closet for a secondary bedroom for sure. And then down this little hall, we get to, we pass by another one of those intercoms again, and you get to the other bedroom, the other side, which I'm gonna guess was the girl's room, or a pink lover at least, because that's a very pink Pepto-Bismol pink room, and I love it. I love it, so cute. And then here's her side of the Jack and Jill, look at me assuming. She's got her closet, her vanity, and then here's where they share the tub shower and the potty. So all in all, it's a good setup though, because they can mostly live their own lives and get over themselves when they have to share a little bit. All right, let's go across the way. Let's see, we went left first before, so let's go left again. Oh, look, we have a couple stairs to go up. I guess it's like a game room. Let's see, oh no, this must count as, oh, y'all, hold on. Let me back up a little bit and show you this slower. Okay, nice big open room, game room style, high ceilings, 
love it. And then you spin around and you have a media room. So you have game room and media room, which is really nice. They left the risers for your back row. It's got the mounts for speakers are in the ceiling already. And then the white wall for the projector. So they kind of handed you a media room on a platter. That's very cool. I like this layout. All the bedrooms are over there. The fun's over here so far. Let's go see what's down here though on the other side of the media room. There's your attic access, by the way. Always notice where that is because it might come in handy later. We do pass by the last bathroom here. Full bath. And then into the last of the bedrooms. Not the biggest bedroom, but it's kind of narrower and longer than the others, it feels like. I'd have to look at the exact measurements for you. And this one has LED strip lights mounted on this wall. And a whole little jewelry thing, which is a cool little addition. And then the closet. Oh, this is a bigger closet too. Nice. So we had three of the bedrooms upstairs. We have the game room, the media room upstairs. We've got the primary bedroom downstairs with all the other shared areas. So other than the chirping of the smoke detectors, what do you think guys? What do we think of this one? Who wants to come see it? I'm confident this family would love to get this house sold. It looks like they are gone and have been for a while. Let's help them out. Comment below. Let me know your thoughts on the home. Good, bad, and ugly. It's not mine. You're not hurting my feelings. Um, and then message me. Let me know what, when we can see it. Thanks so much for coming out. I'll see you on the next one. And in the meantime, be sure to like, share, subscribe, all the good things that I'm supposed to tell you to do. And I can't wait to see you next time. Thanks, guys.